Good morning. Okay, everybody, um, if we could get logged into Minecraft Education Edition now. When I was qualifying to be a teacher, my, always my focus has been child-centered uh, learning. Giving the child the power to, to guide their own learning, to lead their own learning. I always felt that that was important and I always felt that that was the way that education should be going and that was the way that education would benefit the child the most. Well, I came across the concept of game-based learning and I tried three or four years ago, but I got bogged down. This is where the Dream Space TV episodes became a vital cog in the wheel of Minecraft Education Edition becoming part of my classroom. We started with Dream Space TV. We watched all those really exciting and interesting episodes with Corey and Amanda, and we did all the activities that helped us develop our skills. How would we achieve this within the Minecraft world? So Aidan, what do you think? I think you should like count how many blocks you want it tall, wide, it helps the learner to become familiar, to become engaged with a specific topic. So whether it's area, whether it's perimeter, whether it's global citizenship in subjects such as STEM, in subjects such as SPHE, in subjects such as literacy. The skills I think I've learned are definitely being able to cope because I didn't know anything about it and using agents and spawning NPCs. I didn't know any of that, but with Minecraft Education Edition I learned it. There was coding and computer science and I really enjoyed that and um, as well as math so we done like perimeter and there was a bit of area in it while we were planning to build things. From maths and tables is what you expect us to learn but even from that to history. It really allowed me to flex my creative muscles. I never in my wildest dreams thought that over 30 years ago when I came here that we would be doing something as exciting as this. That's the feature of education. Uh, it's, it should be a love rather than a chore and that's what we like to see in education. I learned a lot and I enjoyed it a lot. I definitely didn't realise I was learning. Well, it's nice working in a team. And even though it was work, like, it was enjoyable work. When I realised that students who wouldn't necessarily have the loudest voice in my class had found their voice. It gave them power that they hadn't previously had and it gave them a voice that was really important to them. And I feel that that is what Minecraft has delivered for my class. It has given everybody an equal voice.